congratulations on the award. Uh, your reaction? Obviously pleased. Look, it's good to you only get that award if your team are winning games. Yeah, I'm delighted for Decky. I think thoroughly deserved. He's had a, a really good month. I mean, he's a very important player. I've, I've spoke recently about how much he does defensively for us, but I think in the last four or five games, we've seen the other side of him as well, where he can be a match winner. So, yeah, delighted for him. And of course, on a, on, I know when awards like this are handed out, it's always talking about it's the team that's, that's earned it. But on a personal note, you're just five months into your first managerial job. It must be nice to get a, a bit of recognition like this. Yeah, I can see why people say it is about the team because it, it certainly is. Um, again, it's you don't get this award if your players don't do well and you don't get the award if you've not got good people behind you, whether that be Dave Mackay, Martin Hartley, Jimmy Nicol, Gordon Strachan, whoever it may be that I'm getting advice from, then I think it's... I, I, don't, I don't think you... I know people do say that, but it's not a cliché, it's... For me, it's a fact that you need your players to be doing well and you need good people behind you to get any sort of award. And, and we've had that. We've had that for the start, certainly, with the, the good players and the people behind us. And it's now starting to click, which, look, it's pleasing. Of course it is. But, again, it's... And it's... I'm, I'm delighted, but I'm, I'm, I'm probably more happy for Decky. You'll, you'll have found out over the last five months already the highs and the lows of, of management. I mean, just how steep a learning curve has it, has it been for you? Um, it's been quick, and I think if I had to learn, I've had to learn quick again. It's nothing that the there's not been anything there really that's apart from probably my goalkeeper getting injured and having to get an emergency goalkeeper in. It's something that I never really never thought about in the courses. Or had never happened to me with under 18s as such or the reserves. So we things like that pop up now and again, but. See, I've got a wealthy experience that I can turn to. I've got people I trust I can turn to. So in that sense, it's been it's been pretty straightforward. The past three games have been great in terms. Of it's been three wins, so that that's a that's a pleasing bit, and that's been certainly as as weekends going, going home and and being able to sleep without too much worries. And it's better when you win a game, of course. But like it's there's no really. Nothing's went on that I've not expected or, or seen coming. How big a game is that? Is this on Friday night? It's massive. Every derby is. Um, whether it's the Dundee derby, the Edinburgh derby or the Old Firm derby. It's it's a game that excites this city. Uh, it excites this football club and it excites Dundee United. Full house, great atmosphere, live on TV, under the lights. It's, it's, it's a big game. And how, how big a motivation is revenge? For your players going into this one after what, what happened at Tannadice? It's not. Motivations for the. to keep the run going, um, to keep the momentum going, and to keep. keep exciting our fans with performances, um, and keep the feel good factor around our club. That game happened. Um, it was, as you say, it's, it was a long time ago now. It was three games into a season, and, and as a group, we're, we're better. But again, these games particularly are about the bragging rights for the fans. Now it's for us. You, you take all that and the outside pressure away from it. It's about three points, and it's about continuing, which has been a really good run. It's about continuing that. But we want to give the fans something to, to walk away here on Friday night to be happy with. And after that, after that defeat, I guess there were a lot of people on the outside looking to see how you as a squad would react to that. You could go one of two ways. You could go on the run you've gone on. Or you could perhaps buckle and, and capitulate. You must be very happy with how your squad have responded and, and answered up to the questions that were perhaps being asked of them following that Tannadice defeat. Yeah, and I must admit those questions may have came from the outside. They certainly didn't come from within. Um, I signed most of those players, and the ones I didn't sign, like your Paul McGowan's, for example. I know the character they've got, so I knew we would come good. Um, since then, I've added. Top quality, one in particular, a top quality player to our squad who's made a huge difference. But I was never worried about going to one of two ways. As I said at the time, I, I was genuine. It was three games into a season. It hurt, of course it did. Like any defeat in a derby hurts, and particularly ones like that, they hurt you, and it takes you, it takes you a while deep down to, to get away from that. But it happened, and 
but we quickly had another game. So what were we going to do? Were we going to let it linger over us or were we going to get back to doing what we work on every day and get our season going? And that's what we've done. But I, I didn't have any doubt that was going to happen. How much has changed for Dundee since that game? How different a game are you expecting on Friday against Dundee United? I'm not expecting anything different really, other than it's going to be frantic, hectic, great atmosphere, um, great occasion, which they always are, and I think it's th two teams in good form that are that are going head to head. I think even at the time we, we had had a decent Betfred Cup run, they had, had a, a really good start to the league, so I think the similarities are there in, in that game. Both teams were in half decent form then, both teams are in good form now. Um, what's changed here is we've had an extra couple of months to work with the players, get our, our ideas across and as I said we've added, we've got people back as well that are that are helping the cause here and that's the pleasing thing for me now is I've got a settled squad and at that time I didn't think I did but that was no excuse for, for what happened on the night that, and that makes the love, if I had Graham Dorms in the team that night, if I had whoever fit, whatever, then that's me no saying that happened only because of that but I now feel we've had that time to work to to do what every manager and coach and staff does, but also United have had time to do that as well, so so they'll be better and we expect that. How good timing are these awards today, given uh, how much confidence they'll give the side going into a game like this? I don't know, hopefully for Deke. Um, although he's, he's flying, he's, he's really confident and you can see that in his play. Hopefully it helps him a bit and yeah, we get a bit more out of him, which is... For me to be, be asking that's a lot because he's done, I think he's done fantastic, particularly in the last month. But we'll keep pushing him and we'll keep trying to improve him because he wants to improve. And he's again, he's another one that's always willing to get better and are trying to get better. Everybody wants to get better, but he's trying day in, day out to, to become a better player and, and learn as much as he can from the senior ones in the squad and, and the coaching staff. So hopefully for him, it, it gives him another wee boost. At one point, uh, you were nine points behind Dundee United. You win on Friday and you're three points behind them. How comp how catchable do you feel Dundee United are? Game, nothing, nothing different from the first derby. It's, I think we're, we're missing. There's also another team there um, and another team as well. So, look, our, our aim is to get three points and, yeah, to, to get to... It's close to the leaders and the teams that are above us in the league. And as I say, the the gap will be the gap will, will be looked at properly and come April time when when we know the business end of the season. But look, this is about three points. It's a massive game for us, and it's it will be three big points that, that we're, we're going out there and fighting for on Friday night. James Keane Hemmings has found his scoring touch. I'm delighted are you about that? And we've seen what he did here first time round. Do you think there's any reason why he can't go on and be your Lawrence Shankland over the next few months? Yeah, I'm delighted that his his goals are coming, but his performances have been fantastic. I think yeah, I think anybody that's watching him knows that, and he's he's now getting. Every say strikers are judged on their goals, but we were judging Kano and what he was doing, and and he was a big factor. I think again, if you go back and ask the squad and what why Graham Dorans, Paul McGowan, Declan McDade look so good on the pitch and how they get time to play is because what Kane Hemmings brings to the team. Um, and he's hold up play and getting us up the pitch. He bullies centre backs at times. And he's a real he's a he's an outball, but above all else he's, he's a goal scorer. Now we know that. Again that's that goes back to were you worried about how things would go? Well no, because I knew Kane wasn't really fit. I knew what was coming. I knew we had the chance to bring someone who get Graham Dorns' quality into the football club, but those things take time, and we've had the time now, so the goals were always going to come, and they'll continue to come, because that's what Kane, Kane Hemmings brings. That, that's, he's done that at every football club, so it's not going to be any different here. Team news? Jack, Jack Hamilton's getting a bit better. Um, again, he's he, he kind can, of dive about, but he's doing little exercises. Marsh and Toddy are okay. Toddy's a bit. Josh Todd, yeah, Jordan Marshall, just uh, I'm giving people nicknames. Um, Josh Todd, it's just a, a delicate one because he wears the stitches, he had stitches in his ankle, and any time he kicks the ball, it's, it's hitting. But it's just, it's, look, it's, can he bear it? And 
they train today fine, so no issues in terms of that. That's about it, yeah. Fine, Jamie's back, it's another week's training, it's a great boost for Jamie getting the goal, so no, we're, we're almost close to barring Jack and maybe a wee bit of soreness tomorrow for Toddy, then we're at full strength. With all the hype this week about the, it being the early week basically in Dundee, has it been difficult <coughs> to keep the players focused on it's just another game on Friday and it's three points that need to be won for Dundee? No. No, it's... The focus is we want to make it four wins in the bounce. Um, we want to continue the run and we want to keep the momentum going. Look, it, it, it's a different feel to the week and you... There's more press and there's more there's more interest in a game, but it's we need to handle that. Um, it's but the players get excited, but I, I don't think you you need to put a, a lid on it as such. You you kind of just let them go because you feel the excitement. You see it in training. It's actually you could flip it and go other games. You try and replicate that if you can to make it feel that it's as big a game as as Dundee United coming here because you want that. You want it every game to be like that. That's why. You want to get back to to the Premiership and, and it's the big games every single week. Now, that, that's not being disrespectful to other teams, but this is a big game in this league. Um, that's why there's so much interest, but it's great. Like the fans love it. Um, and probably more so the players. It's, it's actually an easier week to manage in terms of everybody's desperate to be fit, everybody pushes herself that wee bit harder to, to make sure they're fit if they're, they're struggling and everybody wants to be in that team come 7.45 on Friday night. When they walk out that door at seven forty-five on Friday, and that atmosphere hits them, as a player, what's that like to be going out there? Great, it genuinely is. It's that's it's that's what you miss. Certainly, that's what I'm feeling. That's what I miss. Um, when you look back and people say they do you miss not playing, well, you do. Yeah, in the big games because there's a like you miss a week, the build up. Um, there is, there's just an edge to it. And it'll be the same for Dundee United. There'll be an edge to their players and their fans, their staff. It's just a it's a great week in this city, I feel. Every time I've been involved in the derbies, or they're great derbies, great occasions. Um, one team normally wins and the other they get the bragging rights over their the supporters, I mean, get the bragging rights over their, their work colleagues, their friends, whatever it may be. It's Friday, we just need to make sure it's us.